Is, is my, together, is my oh, ass showing? Andy Hallow. Is your ass showing? Uh, yeah. uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Andy. We were going to come out and say, thank you. My butt was hanging out. Is it still? Another course? Thank you, guys. How are you? It was a quiet group earlier, except her. <laughs> Am I feeding off of this? Is that, is it bad? That's all right. Well, I, Andy, you're going to sing with me. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> no, you're not going anywhere. Do you got, can we sing something? Yeah. Yeah. Because I told Andy I was going to sing, and I said, well, I'm not going to do it without you, because, you know, it would be Andy squared. <laughs> right? Two Andys for you singing a song. But was it? We promised Sean Harry one. Okay. How come you're, wait, is your mic, where's your mic? Is it not on? You two, oh, okay. Oh, I'm just loud. Okay. You can go ahead with that if it, if it's, uh, if it's on. Oh, I love these. I love these. Was anybody at last weekend's event? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Look at you. You're just like me. I'd be rushing the stage for these jelly beans. I swear. Oh, my God. Were you at last week's thing? No. Huh? We want some swings. Oh, some of these. Okay. Well, I'll give you some. Here, I'll get you some now. Um, I turned around and saw Sean Harry with two jelly beans sticking out of his nose the other night. So when I saw these jelly beans, I said, oh, oh, well, well I can go one each. You know this one, Andy. This is Andy's song. He picked it. So we're going to sing it for you. All right? All right? Sitting in the morning sun I'll be sitting in the evening coming hey, hey, hey. Watching the ships roll in Say it, Andy Watch them roll away again Oh, you know that we are sitting on the dock of the bay We're watching the tide roll Do like this, yes. Ah, I love them. Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time, yes I was, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. You know I don't know any. Oh, all right, all right. I had nothing to live for, and nothing's gonna change my way. Oh, no, 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 I'm sitting on the dock of in the tide roll away yeah sitting on the dock of the bay we were wasting time oh yeah can you turn it up yes oh what it looks like and nothing's gonna change my mind <laughs> each time i need the words to the song and i can't do what ten people tell me to so Remain the same. Oh, you know I'm sitting on the back of the bed. Can you turn it up, baby? Watching the tide, tide roll away. I was sitting on the back of the bed, watching all of those words go away. I swear it wasn't because of me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Andy is the best singer, and I didn't even know it, and I love it. He shocked the hell out of me with this. So keep one more verse. Wasting time. Wasting time. Thank you, Andy. Oh, God, Andy can sing. He can really sing. I said, I almost didn't want him to sing because I said, I don't want him to make me look like a, a penny waiting for change. <laughs> That's my life. Oh, my God. Thank you, Andy. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. Andy can sing his ass off. I love it. Mm. Oh, God, that just got me so excited. <laughs> and these ducks are everywhere, too. 
Uh, uh, so I don't. Do I need this note anymore? You don't need that. This is this is uh, this is picking it up. Thank you. Thank you. So this is okay. Oh god. Oh gosh. All right. Now I can. I, should I sit or stand? I, I love this seat. I, this is the nicest, nicest <laughs> stage. This is the nicest stage ever. You know, ever. I. I just came from London at Sean Harry's event. He usually makes me put together my own stuff, you know, <laughs> and fend for myself. Where is he? Is he out here? Mm -mm. Uh huh. <laughs> um, was, now, so who was that last? Who was there last weekend? Yes. Oh, a lot of you guys. Okay, good, good, good. Well, so you saw these ducks last weekend. Then I still, even even when I just got here a few minutes ago, I had to ask again, and somebody told me. Was it you? No. Who told me? No, some. I love that noise. <laughs> I do. Was it you? I love that. My camera does it sometimes. Oh, it was your phone. Yeah. The phone camera. I love it. I have my mine on extra loud on my uh, thing, and I have all these things on here too. This is my little computer, which I said I'm going to bring out the words for Andy. Huh? Yeah, you can see. <laughs> I can't remember anything. I can't remember words to anything. So. If any of you were there last weekend and saw the disaster <laughs> with Claire Kramer, uh, <laughs> it was just a car wreck. Speaking of car wrecks, oh, sorry, honey. <laughs> oh, this, I still can't get over. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Um, <laughs> but I uh, wait back to the, uh, I, my mind just goes all over the place. Uh, uh, the who? What was it? Dane. Dane? Dane oh, yeah, right. Oh, like he could keep anyone on track. <laughs> oh, that old thing. Mm, oh, I have some things on here. I intended, I, can I say what I intended? I intended to show you guys, uh, um, I, I had put together a, a, uh, a sort of a presentation which was outrageous, and, uh, and I'm really kind of pissed that, uh, Mad, not drunk, because I because I know that I know that means both here. Or wait, what does it generally mean here? By the way, specifically, I said something the other day that I got in trouble for too. That they said means something else here. I called somebody a dog, but but I didn't mean it like that. I meant it like I said, oh, you lucky dog. Like that, and they were like, oh, they, they, they were like, you know, bring it down a little bit. But um, uh, um, uh, however, the presentation that I intended to, to show you was, oh, wait, first I never finished this. I got to <laughs> get that thought out or I won't finish it. So I said that I'm going to bring the words out for Andy because I can't remember anything. I can't remember words to anything, not even Lady Marmalade. So don't you know that when we were coming out here, I said to these guys backstage, I said, well, you got to bring these for Andy trying to put all the blame. <laughs> Him? He knew all the words anyways, I think. He was, oh, God, Andy, you were so good. But anyway, I want to do, we should go on the road. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the Andy Show? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> um, so then, uh, oh, I just felt like Paul Lind all of a sudden, which happens all the time. Did you see the cake I got? Yes. yes. Is it out here? Is it here? Is it back there? Can you, Nick? Do you mind? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait till you see this cake. I got a lot of take drink. Mm. But um, I, the cake, okay, so that's one thing. So this, so the, <laughs> so Dock of the Bay, all that stuff, so we had the words, so I can get rid of those now. But uh, my intentions were to have that up there, the screen there, that's why you see that. I was going to project my, this presentation that I put together because Jay and Amy and Alexis on the set put together this outrageous video, which I don't know if you've heard about. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, d take, <laughs> oops. This, well, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm obsessed with, well, pretty much every, well, no, not everyone on this cake. <laughs> but um, I, my finger went right into the middle of it already, but, <laughs> which there was, what? What'd you say? Somebody said something nasty and dirty. But I did, can you, can I get away with, oh, like that shielded my, <laughs> like, hey, Andy, can I get away with <laughs> saying yes. anything bad? Like, I don't want to offend or whatever. 
you got small children, put your hands over their ears. Yeah, now. block their ears real quick because I fingered Aretha Franklin. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> ever, 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 ever. <laughs> Poor Aretha. Um, oh, I bet she didn't expect it either. <laughs> oh, oh, Aretha. Yeah. Dane's next. <laughs> he was expecting it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Notice the smile on his face. <laughs> God, they're gonna shut the curtain on me. Oh, I know it. But anyway, so the people in this, if you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see it from where you are, but it's, it's Dane, it's Hollywood Squares, first of all, which I'm obsessed with Hollywood Squares, uh, only because of Paul Lind, which I love it on this one, my dear, that you put me in the middle and Paul's on the, I, I don't even know what to think about that. But Paul Lind is over here, then Mark Lutz. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be saying that if, <laughs> if you knew how, 52 minutes, was that what it was, Sean? Knocking on my door the other day. He doesn't know this. Don't say a word. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that to a group of people, uh, but, but you didn't hear this from me, but uh, Mark has this tendency to just come over at the house all the time, which I swore that I was gonna put up a, a uh, first I said I was gonna have a moat built, <laughs> and then uh, an electric fence, but I'm still working on the electric electricity thing, I'm trying to work it out with the electric company. Um, Mark Lutz was at my door knocking for 52 minutes, and I don't like unexpected guests at the house, so. <laughs> and and uh, Sean, if, if you guys could see the, my, the setup where I live, you'd, you'd, you'd see exactly that it's not exactly, it, it, would you say it's welcoming? Yeah. You would? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, top shelf. Um, so Mark gets, Mark hops the fence a lot of the time. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding. He hops the fence and then he'll just come up to the door and bang on the door. Well, the other day I was like, I'm not getting it. I refuse to get it. Is this being <laughs> taped? I was going to say. Is this being taped? <laughs> and it's the biggest camera I've ever seen, right? Oh, Tim. <laughs> so no, so Mark was banging away 52 minutes. I just sat at my desk typing away. I pretended I didn't hear one knock. He was furious. I mean furious, knocking, kicking, banging, and he even has a key. I don't know why. I think he made a wax copy. <laughs> I do. I think he made a wax copy one night when I wasn't looking. But anyway, he had a key for some reason. Well, I had done the deadbolt and the deadbolt over that one. <laughs> and I said I'm not letting him in because I, I, but I wasn't doing anything. It wasn't like I was pre. Well, I was preoccupied, but it wasn't like I was doing anything scandalous. Or I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, on to the next person. <laughs> wait, what was my whole point about that? that he, oh, so I never answered the door. This, wait, this is what happened. I never answered the door, ever. 52 minutes, and I got so plucked that I set up my video camera in the hallway to, and I zoomed in on the door handle, because you could see it going <laughs> He was like trying to get in it on the outside. Well, he had my, a bunch of my headshots. Oh, <laughs> he had a, a lot of, uh, he had a, I'll tell you that story in a minute. That's a doozy. I've never told that story, nor have I told this one, but, this, <laughs> but he took Mark in that 52 minute time span First of all, went to my neighbor's. He had the unmitigated gall to go to the neighbor's house and knock on their door and ask if he could go out onto their back deck so he could get a view into the back of my place. <laughs> Luckily, my neighbor had, you know, his wits about him and, and said, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, so Mark, oh, so Mark took my pictures, I swear to God, he took headshots and he cut out just like my face, so they were, you know, it was circles. And I have this weird door on the front door. It's, it's like, it's broken up and it's, it looks like this. It's broken up into sections. It looks like an old medieval door. Well, he put my face on every square of the door. <laughs> every square. And, um, and that made me mad too. But anyways, so that's Mark. And then Dane is up here in the top left corner. Actually, my door looked just like this. Like, whoops, sorry, <laughs> Aretha just took another hit. <laughs> Oh, that's just so good. Can I eat it? <laughs> I wanted to save it. I didn't want to eat it, but I have to. I am Aretha Franklin, who I just admire and, and love. Then me in the middle. Amy Acker down below, who I don't need to say a word about. She's awful. <laughs> she thinks, you know, she thought that story about the bathrobe was made up. I got her kid. 
Just, <laughs> I got her lousy kid a blanket. <laughs> I just sounded so mean and cynical. Someone called me cynical last night at a party and I was so upset about it. Do you, am I cynical? No. <laughs> Wait, what is like the textbook definition of cynical? Andy Hallett. Ah! <laughs> oh, you wicked, wicked person. That's terrible. Oh. Um, wait, cynical is what? Like it means just what? Somebody. When you're plucked. <laughs> <laughs> the epitome of being plucked. All right, well, she thought I was cynical, but um, anyways, she was nuts and wasted and got the hotel people to shut us down. We were at Stacy's house. Stacy, Stacy Travis, my good friend Stacy Travis. We were at her party. <laughs> we were at her party at her place, and uh, it was great. And then um, that was last night up in London. And um, we had a, a good time there, too. But wait, Amy Acker, that's what I was trying to say. Amy doesn't believe me because I, she says that I, because sometimes I'm a little bit late for things. And <laughs> <laughs> I have a, sometimes a rare, it's rare, but it happens, you know, it happens to the best of us on occasion. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Amy Acker, who lives, she just bought a house like, I swear to God, well, I've never, I've never seen it, so I really don't know, but it's probably a mile from my house, honest to God. And in, you know, in LA, that's, kind of, that's close, because everybody kind of is spread out in LA. Well, she lives so close, I keep telling her I'm gonna come by, and every time I call her, I forget, to, I forget the directions from the last time. So this last time I called her, her husband said, I know you're not coming, and I'm not giving you the directions again. <laughs> Bye, and hung up. <laughs> that's James, that's James. So, but anyway, uh, for their birthdays, no, not their birthdays, <laughs> for their weddings, for their wedding, Amy and James, I bought them these robes, these white robes, terry cloth bathrobes, you know, because I love wearing my bathrobe. So it says con robes by Lorne, which is a joke from Amy, because Amy thinks that everything that I do, for a long time she kept saying that anything I did had to do with a con. So they used to just make up con this, con that. So she thinks I have a whole line of clothes called Lorne wear and that you can call up and order. So sometimes she has her friends call my house. It's so stupid, I know, it's a long story. But um, <laughs> so she has them call up and say like, you know, we want to order the shorts and <laughs> you know, this, that, whatever. So I had them, I made them the con robes. It has a little cigar smoking right here and also it has a martini glass. So when their little kid was, when their little, when she had her baby, Jack, um, Jack, uh, I, I got Jack a little robe to match, a little baby bathrobe, right? And it got stolen. I swear to God, it was stolen. I had it made, I swear. But it, I did have it for a long time. It was in the back of my truck for a long time, and I forgot to give it to him. But anyway, so I called her the other night. Sean Harry was in town in, 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 London, in L.A., and I said, Amy, I'm coming over, and I'm bringing the robe. And she was like, that'll be the day. And I said, I'm coming. I was dressed and ready to go, and I went to find the gift, and it's gone. And so I still, I just told my mom and dad that at the house, Sean, I mean, at the, where we were. And, and so, but anyway, I just had to tell you that. But Amy is nuts. Do you guys know Amy? Yes. yes. Somebody knows her real well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Amy is one of my favorites in the world. Favorite, favorite, favorite. But when we ever used to work together, we, we couldn't work that well together because she, she laughs at everything. And that's... <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that's Sparky. Do you guys know Sparky? Yes. Sparky was the prop master on, on, on the show. I'm up here. <laughs> uh, and then this is Joss. Do you know who Joss is? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody had on that shirt, Joss the Boss, at the last thing. I got a kick out of that. I wanted to throw my name in there, Sean. <laughs> and then Patty LaBelle, which I think you guys know that I know. I mean, that I love. I mean, I, I meant to say, I, I don't know if you know that I love Patti LaBelle is what I was trying to say. But I do love Patti LaBelle. Actually, I want to show you this. I wish that I had this up on the projector, but... Oh, I never finished that story, did I, Andy? <laughs> but I swear to God, just rein me in and just tell me to shut up if... if do you just have to stop me, because I could talk a glass side of sleep. <laughs> I swear. But this little picture, I... I <laughs> You want to see a hysterical picture? I don't know if I can show it with you here, Sean, because you don't know about it. <laughs> Sean was asleep when this one happened. Um, I'll show it. I better wait on this one. <laughs> but um, uh, this is the one I want to show. Uh, oh, it's not on this one. Oh, but that's me and, and Patti LaBelle at uh, the last thing we sang at, uh, I don't know if you can see it at all. Can you see it? 
That's me and Patty. She just turned 61. I think she looks unbelievable. She looks good. But Paul Lynn down here is, is one of my favorites too. And I loved him. And I'm de determined to make the Paul Lind story one day. Because he had a scandalous scandal. Not, I'm, not saying that I, I'm not saying I have a similar life. I'm just saying these ducks are too much. Um, <laughs> is that he was wild. He was like a funny man on stage. But off stage, I'm going to put this over here. But off stage, he was nuts. He had a wild, crazy life, and he was a you know wild alcoholic. Again, there's no similarities. <laughs> Keep this in mind. <laughs> One night, he was at a cocktail party. This is awful. I better turn this before it goes into like self mode. You know where it starts showing other pictures. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they do that sometimes. No. <laughs> Nobody knows about that one. Um, Oh, this is the cruise ship I just got back on. I was on a cruise on the Slayer cruise. Did you guys hear about that? Oh, it was nuts. Was anybody on it? Yeah. You guys, I know where. My girls. Wait, wait. What did you, did you have a good time on it? Did you? Like a ball, a blast? Would you say that it was, uh, would you do it again? Yeah. They're doing an Alaska one, Maybe I hear. Might be Western Caribbean. A nice? Is that what you say? Somebody said nice? Yeah, cause my cousin did an Alaska cruise. and said it was the best thing she ever did. I, but I can't, I would never pick that, I don't think. Where do you want to go on a cruise? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like dodging icebergs and stuff? I don't know. Like, I don't even know if Alaska's really like that. I used to, I swear to God, I thought Canada was just snow until, Mark, until I met Mark Lutz, which is awful. I did, I thought it was ice, ice, igloos, everything. I, and when he told me, he's like, Oh, yeah, well, in the summertime, I was like, summertime in Canada? Like, what? He told me, you know, and then it wasn't until I got suckered into driving across the country with him, and that was a whole other story. We never made it, by the way. But, um, oh, so the headshots. He put the headshots on my door. The reason he had my headshots was because I had to go to Chicago, right? Well, I had to bring some pictures. The promoter called him and said, you've got to bring pictures. Well, I get to the Chicago, the L.A. airport, and I forgot them, believe it or not. So I'm sitting at the airport. And I had just missed one flight, and so I, so I had about two hours to kill. And I can't still believe that they didn't let me on that plane. But anyhow, and you should have seen that I faked an asthma attack. <laughs> that is so bad. I don't know if anyone here has asthma, and I hope you don't take offense to it or whatever, but I think I kind of have it. I don't know. But I pretended I have it. Well, don't you know, I swear to Jesus this is true. I pretended, I faked it so good they wouldn't let me on the plane, they said, because they thought I was going to not be healthy enough to go on it. They said, no, you're having such an attack, we can't let you on the plane in this condition. And I was like, ah! Like, like I faked it that good, because I went run. I was booking down the, the corridor, which I bear, rarely do, it, um, especially after I had the, the heart thing, so I, was, I can't move that fast. Remember that one, Andy. <laughs> That's why I was late today, yeah, right. So anyway, um, so I made it to the thing, and I went up to her counter, and I was like, mm -hmm. And I was on it, one knee, and she's like, where's your inhaler? And I'm looking through my bag, knowing I don't have an inhaler. I'm like, I don't know, honey, I can't find it. I packed too much, and I'm going through it. And she's like, we can't let you on that plane in this condition. I was like, no, I think I'm going to be all right. <laughs> and my mother was so mad at me for doing that. Oh, God, was she mad. And wait, the year before that, listen, this is awful. This is awful, awful, awful. I was, but I really did have my heart. I will talk about the show, I promise. <laughs> I had my heart, I had a heart problem about a year ago, right? And so, and, and I don't know if any of you guys know this, but I was supposed to come down here last year. Yeah. Oh, and I'm really sorry, and I had no choice to, but to, my mom came with me to London, and I shouldn't have even done that. I never should have gone to London, and, uh, and uh, but I did it anyways, and I was really pushing. I couldn't even walk across the room, and I was trying. My friend who, who, uh, my friend from home jokes about me, saying, because <laughs> they would have to push me to the stage in London, I swear to God, push me to the stage in the wheelchair, and then I'd get out of the wheelchair and go on stage. And my friend was like, oh, are you Liz Taylor? <laughs> it's like, I got a charge out of that one, too. Especially because after, right before he said that, I had seen, I saw Liz Taylor at an um, APLA event, and she was presenting in something, and she got up to the monitor, and you know how they have, like, the teleprompters, and she was like, Good evening. 
And she was just, and then, <laughs> and her, oh, and then she goes, and you know how you, sp am I all right? I saw some funny faces. I was like, oh no, I hope nothing's <laughs> doing anything weird. So, uh, so anyway, so Liz was up there and she goes, and uh, she was giving an award for best something or other. I don't even know what it was, but she was like, so the nominees are, and then she just opened the winner's thing. She's like, Tom Hanks. <laughs> And then, she, and then she looked down, and she, he just thought she was announcing him as the you know, nominee or whatever. And she was like, well, come on, Tom. I've said your name. Get the hell up here. You know, like, oh, so when he told me that I seemed like Liz Taylor, I thought it was even funnier after that. But anyways, whew, where were we? Liz, the headshots. So I was at Chicago. I mean, I'm in L.A. going to Chicago, and I frantically call up Mark Lutz, knowing that he has that key, oh, which just kills me. But I said, Mark, can you, can you do me a favor? Because he had to pick up my little dog, too. Wait till you see my dog, Leon. I'll show you that in a minute. I'll show you right now. Leon, <laughs> Leon is a Chinese hairless crested. Do you know what that is? Well, he shakes and quivers and, I mean, over anything. Anything that moves, he shakes and, 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 uh, and, and goes nuts. Wait, here he is right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but he's, every, everybody says he looks just like me. I don't know if you can, can you see that? Yeah, that's Leon. He's a mess. And his mother, <laughs> Dottie, I better turn it again. Um, but Dottie puts a diaper on him in the house, which I think is pathetic, and I refuse to stay at home with him with the diaper on, because anyone that comes near the house, they, first of all, some people don't even know he's a dog. The neighbors saw him outside, and I could hear them upstairs, and they're, they don't speak English, but their dog's name, by the way, is Rudy Giuliani, <laughs> which I just can't get over. <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, back to the, 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 the things. So I said, Mark, can you go to my house right now? Because he was picking up Leon at the vets. Anyways, I said, can you grab me some headshots? I need headshots to bring to this gig. I have to have them. I have to have them. So he goes, OK, fine. So he rushes to my house. And oh, this is too much. He rushes to the house. He's got Leon, who's going nuts. And Leon bounces all over the place and shakes and, every, and barks. And he's got my headshots. Well, he gets into his truck, Mark went in the house, got the stuff, and he has Leon and my headshots, and he goes back and gets in his Jeep, and he gets in the Jeep, and he's driving down past the Hollywood Bowl. I don't know if any of you have been to LA, but I live near the Bowl. And uh, he looks in the rear view mirror, and, well, no, first he's driving down the road and goes, oh, where are the headshots? And he looks in the rear view mirror, and the entire street is, the cars were stopping and swerving. He left them on the roof! I swear, he left them on the roof, and the cars were swerving and bobbing and weaving to the left and right, and like they had this, I'm not kidding. He, this box, well, this is bigger. The, he grabbed a box that was this big. I had, there's a bunch of them. He grabbed a 1,000 of them. Well, there's a 1,000 of my faces on the <laughs> freeway, on the 101 and on Coenga, Sean, right on both of them. They're both huge roads, four lanes. Well, he said traffic came to a halt. <laughs> Because when they first went into the air, you know, they're like, you know how they go like this and do weird, you know, how paper is in the air, right? Right? <laughs> so, uh, so uh, I was trying to find a piece. Of, I'm, I don't need to demonstrate that. I was going to throw that stack up in the air. <laughs> but he said, so Mark, this is the funniest part, Mark <laughs> pulls over. And, has, and of course, he, he knows that if he loses Leon, he's dead. So he's trying to, like, make sure Leon is OK. And he's running down the road trying to collect them. This is a busy, 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 busy street. Like, I don't, it's like, uh, it's almost equivalent to a freeway. There's a thousand pictures all of the street. And he collects <laughs> a handful of them. And he was panicking because he thought I was going to be mad. I wasn't mad. The only thing I'm mad about is that I'm embarrassed thinking that somebody thinks I tried to pull a PR stunt. <laughs> And it's going to be going down the road, you know, like joggers and stuff. Like, Who's this asshole? Like, <laughs> you know, whatever. Oh, not that I would ever jog on that. I wouldn't jog anyway, ever. I bought my, not these shoes, my last shoes that I was in the shop. I swear to God, they, I fit on, they, they put them on me or whatever. And I'm standing there and I'm like, yeah, I guess these feel good. And I'm the only person in the store. And the guy's across the store now and he goes, so I'm assuming you're going to be running in these? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if I'm being chased, no. <laughs> and, and, that, and that's the extent of those shoes, too. 
<laughs> but anyway, so he picks up the pictures, comes, swings into LAX, Leon in the passenger seat, chirping and weaving and wheezing, I'm trying to say, because Leon was a nervous rack when this happened. He gets so nervous. I swear to God, he's so nervous over, and he'd be, if he saw this duck, he'd run the opposite way <laughs> for a cover. So, um, uh, where are uh, the pictures, the road? The, oh, so he grabs, he salvages them, he brings them to me in a bag, a paper bag, and they're all dirty and grimy, and they have car prints, tire, tire tracks, all over my face. I thought that that was the funniest thing that could have ever happened. Just tire prints, like deep ones, too. And one of them even had skin marks. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a Lauren picture. Oh, God. Can you imagine being a poor, unsuspecting soul driving down Coanga and them flying at your windshield like that movie, The Birds, you know, and like having them stuck to the windshield and be like, ah! And having that be the cause of a crash. Oh, if there had been a crash, I would have flipped. It would have made the news, though. <laughs> that PR stunt would have pulled and paid off. <laughs> so, um, what was the question? <laughs> Did, did we go to questions at all? Okay, did anybody want to <laughs> ask a question? Oh, wait, so thank you, honey, for this cake. I, I love this cake. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, love it. I don't even want to eat it. I do want to eat it, but I don't want to eat it at the same time. But we got good pictures, right? And thank you for that photo album. Love it. My mom's going to love it, too. Although there's one picture where I look strikingly, wait, strikingly like? No, can you say that? No. He looked strikingly like the other person, um, like Marlon Brando in his later years, <laughs> because because Amy, not now, not today years, not dead years, but uh, Mar um, d I shouldn't tell those stories about Marlon Brando, should I, Sean? Those are awful. He just lived up the up the hill from me. Well, they no, this, that's no. I have certain guidelines, <laughs> and I will not tell the stories about those people that, right. I can't, I'm about this, they had to lock his refrigerator at night, and my friend used to work for them, I don't know, if it, <laughs> well, Marlene used to pick the lock, just like Mark L L Lutz tries to get to my house, <laughs> my house is, Mar is Mark's re re refrigerator, you know what I'm trying to say, does that make sense? Speaking of the refrigerator, remember the damage you did the last time? Mark Lutz is a slob. He's a pig. He's my dear, dear, dear friend. Um, but, uh, and he's nuts. Right now, he's up at his brother's wedding. I was supposed to sing at the wedding. And um, thank God they didn't get me because I, lately I can't remember the words to anything. Anything. Poor Claire, Claire Kramer. I can't remember her words, her name. <laughs> Claire Kramer. She, well, first of all, that was a disaster. It was a train wreck. She said, let's go sing at the last event in London, right? So I said, okay, what do you want to sing? And I, ha I do know words to some songs, but I have a ton of songs on the computer. So I said, well, you pick out the, the, the songs, right? I have five billion songs on here. She's, and it took how long? 20 minutes for her to pick up the songs? So she's like, I want to sing this one, <laughs> this one, <laughs> this one. She had a couple of pops, and so, <laughs> so had I. But so I, we get out there, and then she says, Sweet Home Alabama. I was like, oh, I like that song, but I don't know the words to save my life. She's like, oh, Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet home. She's like, you're going to know it. I'll carry you through it. <laughs> Any of you who saw the number? Yeah, Hillary. <laughs> You know, she didn't do any carrying of anything. Um, <laughs> she was like, sweet home. Take it away, Andy. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God. And, but then we got to, so we did like all uptown songs, all upbeat songs, right? And then she picks one to, to slow it down in the middle. She wants to say, oh, let's take it down a notch. The Rose. You know that one? Yeah. Bette Midler? Yeah. Some say love. That's all I know. <laughs> well, perfect example, exactly. That's all I know. She was like, ah, oh, the rose, that's my, uh, stop. The, we're doing the rose. I know every, I know it inside and out. I know it like the back of my hand. It was my college or my high school, not thesis, <laughs> but like my high school song that I performed. I know the rose like nobody else. I know it better than that. And we got up there and she was like, some say. <laughs> And we looked like idiots, so all week long, 
Sean and, and Haley and Zara told me that they were like, why didn't you stop like, you know, a year ago? You should have gone out on, on a good note. <laughs> gone out with a bang. So they told me that I just hit, you know, they told me that everything's over. They said it's uh, to, to not, they told me not to sing here. They said, don't, I don't care. They said, don't do it because you won't remember the words. And then we went to a concert the other night and I said, how long do you think it would take me to rehearse for this show to get all those words that those people got in the concert? And they both said, I looked at Zara and Zara said, never. And Haley said, ever. Right at the same time, never, ever. They said, no, I just, I couldn't do it. Uh, um, so that's that. Did I tell the, yeah. So I got the headshot story, Mark Lutz, that's all out. This, Amy Acker's robe, I got that done. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Pardon? What about the video you started telling them about? Oh, the video. That's what I started with, I swear. So I had a video put together for you guys, a presentation of Alexis Denisoff and J. August Richards. Those heathens stole my video camera one day out of my trailer. They slipped into my trailer, pulled a loot special, just went through the window and grabbed my video camera and then started taping with it on stage. Well, don't you know, they went around to everybody they could think of and everybody from, I mean, everyone on set and had them, they did it like, have you ever seen those E! True Hollywood stories? Yeah. It was like one of those. So they'd be like, Andy Howe's doctor. And then they'd go to the doctor and be like, Andy was on a downhill, you know, a downhill path for a long time and blah. You know, and all this. And, and so they just made me sound way worse than I <laughs> really am. And, uh, but they all just trashed me. I mean, trashed me. Everybody, the directors, the producer, the script supervisor, I mean, and, but they set it up to be like real shots. Jay, I could hear him say action on some of them, and he would put it in on Ross Berriman, who's our director, for, who was the director of photography, and they'd all be watching the monitor, you know, like watching the screen, and then Ross would be like, ah, damn it, Andy, Andy did it again, you know, like I screwed it up again, and they went to the fire marshal, who I never even met, ever. <laughs> I had incense one day, you know, like incense sticks, I had to have an incense stick to to do something with, I don't even know what it was for, for a spell or something or other, and, and I had to, so they had to have a fire marshal on set for that, which kind of cracked me up, but anyway, so I had the incense thing, and so Jay gets the fire marshal over in the corner, and he gets him on his cell phone, and he's, an, he's a retired fireman, and so he's an older guy, and, and he, he's on his phone, he's like, yeah, I'm down here on stage five uh, watching this idiot in the green. <laughs> And uh, he's just a fool and he doesn't know whether he's coming or going. And you know, so like they just got everybody to trash me and David Boreanaz trashed me and um, Jay and Alexis were sitting there, did a scene like saying uh, that I never, they were pretending that they were, well actually, <laughs> they were waiting for me on set. <laughs> they weren't pretending, they really were, but they made it sound like it was much worse than it was and they were, Alexis was like, how can we, how can you even act across from him, you know, with, with those shirts? How, how can you do it? And, and Jay was saying that, you know, I can't do it anymore. And they were all just saying that I was going to bury the show. The show was going under. And then they all kept saying, oh, that's what I was going to say. That Lauren picture that I told you about, I'm turned to the side like this and my neck was down or whatever. So I looked heavier, than, but, but I was heavier at the time. But I looked probably way heavier than I was. So they used to joke and say that they, when I was sick or when I couldn't remember my lines, that they had Brando come in and they would put Marlon Brando in the makeup. <laughs> because Marlon Brando also is notorious for cue cards. Everything he would always do was always, he'd have cue cards, whatever, everywhere. And I begged for cue cards. I never got them, though. <laughs> Patty LaBelle has cue cards, too, all over the stage floor. But anyway, um, uh, Brando. So in the makeup, Brando. Wait, makeup, yeah. video, but wait, there's something in between the, wait, I just said, Marlon Brando, the five, the five, no, wait a minute, it's so close and I know if I go on it's going to kill me and I'll never figure it out again. I said, oh, Marlon Brando was doing the thing and that I looked, oh, so Amy Acker said to me, they were teasing me because I had gained weight, so Amy would bring in my costumes. My costumes were always wild anyways, but Amy would be like, uh, Janie Kleiman called. Janie's like a big, big, head, you know, network executive, head, head, head honcho thing. And uh, they'd be like, Janie Kleiman called, and um, they've noticed. And I'd be like, what do you mean? She'd be like, they've noticed. And she'd walk past me and be like, and she'd hit me. And then so she told me that the ratings had plummeted since I put on the weight. So she told me that it wasn't, <laughs> she said that you had, so then towards the end, when we knew we were getting canceled, everybody blamed me on the show. <laughs> they did. They said it was all because of, of my, because ever since, they'd, and then they'd be like, 
they just always said it was since Andy put on the weight, which I was kind of, I need to have one of these. <laughs> Cracked me up, but um, so who, does anybody want to ask a question? Oh, no, 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 I still didn't answer that. The video, so I put together a video, I'll make this quick, I swear. I, they had filmed all this footage, all, tons and tons of footage, but it's really good and it's funny stuff, and I wanted to present it here for the first time because I've been working on it since Lassie was a pup, I swear. I, I started it so long ago, and I called back home and they told me that I couldn't show it. The Fox told me that it was, you know, legalities and copyright BS, so I can't show it. But they even, Andy even had that ready and waiting, but I can't use it. What? All right. <laughs> but I wanted to do that for something different because I've never done that before, and I thought I, I could like mix it up and have do something out of the ordinary here. And I thought that, but it's already been out of the ordinary, in a good, in good, well, not all good ways. Sorry, honey. <laughs> That's awful. But um, but other than that, everything has been fun. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Can I say it? Yeah, you can. We Nikki picked me up. Picked Sean and I up. We got here, uh, you know, um, uh, at the train. I came in on the train, and and Nikki picked me up, and um, I said, "Can we stop at a store, or something or other?" And we got in the car, and she just said, "Oh, this is my dad's car." And I said, "Oh God, all right. Well, you know, let's make sure everything goes smoothly because I wanted to light a cigarette, which I shouldn't be smoking, anyways. Somebody, I know you guys saw me smoking back there, but anyway." So I said, I shouldn't smoke, I won't smoke in the car and all that kind of stuff and it's her dad's truck. Although I did mean to tell you, because you know I'm, I'm very picky about driving, you can drive like the wind. You, you <laughs> can drive, honey. I swear, she can shift, she shifts right at the RPMs, the right RPMs, because sometimes people do it and the engine is lugging, you know, uh, in the wrong gear, too high of a gear, too. This girl can shift, she can drive, I swear. Because I love to drive, I've been driving forever and you got it right on. You could probably shift without the clutch. <laughs> she could. She has. She. If you catch that RPM. No, anyway. So. So we, we we're in the tr the the car, the beautiful car that her dad let us use, and we parked out here on what's or out there. What is? We parked out there, and in the time frame that I came in here and we started taking pictures, it got busted into, and they broke the window and stole her phone. Isn't that terrible? I think it was that drag queen that we passed. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I swear to Jesus, I saw this drag queen, because well, she went by and... Now, it, it was a woman, but it could have been a man. No, it was not. <laughs> not in size 14 pumps. <laughs> Those, she had big purple pumps on, too. Like, all I could think of, she looked kind of like... <laughs> all I could think of was Barney in pumps. <laughs> I don't know why I had that thought. I was like, oh, those look like they were meant for Barney. They were as big as this tombstone. Picture that as a pump with a heel on the end of it. That's how big she was. And she was just strutting down one of those streets back there a couple, like about a half a block ago. And I said, they have drag queens in Grimsby? <laughs> right? And she, she said, oh, yes, we have lots of those, lots of different things in Grimsby. And then don't you know what the car was busted into? I know. We should dust it. Zara and, I mean, Tasha and Anna. We need to get Anna down here to dust it for drag queen prints. <laughs> Fingerprints. I can't believe it. Oh, well, dude, we're going to make it up to you somehow. I can't believe it. Did they get any of my shit? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The FHM's still there. What is? The FHM's still there. Oh, the FHM. I thought you said something terrible. <laughs> I did. I don't know why my mind is just on a bad, in a bad zone lately. Oh, no response. <laughs> We've got some microphones for questions. Oh, yeah. So, Chris, is it Chris? Chris is going to be Phil Donahue. Oh, it, and my sweetheart, too. Wait, tell me your name again. Alana. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, my God. My first girlfriend's name was Alana. She was crazy as a three legged dog. <laughs> I swear, oh my dear. <laughs> Makes you feel better, you can call me Lani. Okay, yes, I, I will definitely be calling you that then, definitely. Oh my God, that one just really sent a shock right through the system. Um, so we've got Lonnie and Chris, who are gonna, you know, if anybody has any questions, you can just throw your hand up and, um, you know, the routine. So, take it away, Chris. <laughs> Hit it, Chris! <laughs> Top of the stairs. <laughs> now the next person has to ask down here. And you send them all up and down the plate. Alana, I can't believe it. <laughs> I doubt it. Hi. Hello. 
I can't see where you are. Oh, sorry. Oh, there you are. Hi. I know you. <laughs> Hello. Um, <laughs> have you ever seen Billy Connolly? B Billy Connolly? Billy Connolly? Billy Connolly? Mm. Uh, you remind me very much of him. He's <laughs> 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 random. Way that you talk about things. Who's Billy Connolly? <laughs> it's what? <laughs> it's good or bad? Good. Oh, it's good. good. All right. Thank you. I didn't know if that was perhaps the name of the drag queen that just broke out. <laughs> <laughs> that just hit Nikki's car. No, okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to. Investigate that that person, Billy Conley. Yes, it's a comedian. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> uh oh, am I gonna get? All right, I thought he was getting pissed that I didn't know who Billy Conley was. Come down here again. I'll show you who Billy Conley is. One's in. Oh, this is Billy. This is Conley. <laughs> Uh, same, um, wait, you had the, the wait, I just heard pleasure and thank you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> and a smile on your face. Yeah. <laughs> a song in your heart. Moving on. Um, <laughs> I also um, worked with you at the autograph session. I was good with bangs. The girl with what? With the bangs. Doing the bangs people. The bags? Yes. <laughs> the bag lady. The bag lady? <laughs> Wait, what bags, honey? Taking the bags of people whenever they come for the Oh, 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 the people's bags. Yes. yes we had that deal. You would go yes. run, rummage through them real quick. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's right. You weren't supposed to mention that. Yes. No. I picked up from that session that um, you and Amy, when you talk to each other, you call each other Lauren and Fred. <laughs> On occasion, yes. May I ask why? I, I found it quite funny. I just. Well, we were on a show together. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played Lauren and Fred. I played her and she played Fred. What do you think? <laughs> she said that she was just kidding. She said that no. to, to her, you don't look like him, you look like Lauren. So oh. Wow, they're, these compliments are just flying in. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, wait, was that a, so that's a comment, right? I was wondering why, why do you call her Fred? Is it because she, she's, is her personality very much like Fred's? Um, yeah, I, yeah. I, well, I think that that all started because I think that I was, Perhaps more Lauren, like Lauren, I guess, than probably more like any of the other characters. I guess I I have more similarity. Joss, I knew Joss prior to the show, so he sort of developed this this idea, um, you know, from from just observing my my life at, at times, and uh, and so you know he. You know what I'm saying. I was the most like Lauren. I was the most like my character because Lauren was really written sort of with Joss. Uh, Joss would say, if you would ask him, probably uh, that it was written with, with me in mind. And then um, he, he came to me and, and told me about that. And I, of course, I didn't have any experience in that field, really. So he uh, said, I think you should audition for it. And, but there's no promises. He said, there's no promises at all. It's gonna, the job will go for, I mean, the job will go to the, the person who, who's the most qualified for it. So, but he believed in me 100%, obviously, and, and, and uh, went, to, went to bat for me, so to speak. But, it, but even being his show and him being the top dog there, he didn't have final, the final say on that. Uh, you know, there was David Greenwald was executive producer at the time as well. And then, um, but I didn't have to go to network, which was I was sort of a unique situation because a lot of people that go when they make when, oops, when they when they get made series regular, they have to test for the network first, and then the network has a lot of say in it. Like when Joss was casting, uh, uh, oh, what was it? Um, when he, I think when he cast, 
Fire, 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 fire. I think no. Wait, what? What was? I don't know if I should mention this or not. But Amber Benson was was gonna be some. Uh, fly, fly. Right, and and I know that you know he, he had <coughs> wanted Amber for something or other, and then it didn't work out with the network. And I always get a kick out of that, just knowing that if that's Joss's show, it's his baby. He's got like three shows on with that network at the time, and you'd think that he'd sort of get get what he wants, you know. Um, but but that doesn't always happen. So I don't know where I'm going with this. But I'll, but I'll, I guess what I was trying to say was that I didn't. I never had to go to network, but I just had to go to David Greenwald and and those guys, and there was a couple other people, and the director and the producer. But then I did. This does hold a record somewhere. It must. If it doesn't, pretend it does. It that I did the most number. I, I mean, I, a, a, a lot of. I was a guest cast member of fifty. I think fifty four or fifty five times before they made me a series regular, which is unheard of. <laughs> no, but it was great when they when they did it. But so it was. I went the you know the opposite way. But this has nothing to do with your question, does it? Um, <laughs> so so. I think we just, they just, Alexis really started it. Alexis started it because, oh, I remember. Alexis started it because when I, before I became Lauren, I was the host, but Alexis never called me the host. He would just walk on set and go, hello, host. So he just called me host. That was it. Like, that was my name, which always cracked me up because it sounded so weird. And then that's when I started calling him, oh, hi, Wes. But it was W-E-Z, and it had to be really drawn out like that, you know? And, uh, and that's how the whole thing started with me and him. And then everybody else picked up on it. Not everybody else, just me, Alexis, and Amy, and Jay. Thank you. What are your current moments? Yeah. What are your other work have you done at the moment? Translator. <laughs> I've had to ask Haley to translate for me all week. What are you up to at the moment? Oh, thank you, Chris. Um, you're looking. Uh, it took me 20 minutes to answer that first question, right? So you know how my routine is. I was working on that presentation, Sean, for how long? Three years. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's not kidding. They did it three years ago, and I just was getting it ready for Andy for this. Three years to do a home video. Huh? Are there any Fox representatives here? Well, I hope not. I don't know. There's a couple out there that want to get back at me. I know there's a few of them that want to really get me, get me good. Excuse me, I think I just done that. I'm sorry, I gotta put them down. <laughs> I haven't been doing a thing. I swear to God, nothing. I don't even like to leave the house anymore. I think I'm turning into, is it J.D. Salinger? Who never left his house? Is that right? I'm turning into him, I swear to God. I don't like to pick up the phone. I don't like to go anywhere. I don't like, well, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like to have people come over to my house and, and all that stuff, but I think that I finally made my place a, you know, just I'm really comfortable there. And, and so I like when people come to visit me, but I never leave the house anymore, except when I go to places like away from home, like here. So I haven't been doing a thing. Where are you? I haven't done anything, nothing. I don't, isn't that awful? I didn't want to. Well, no, I, but stuff from home. I'm working on a CD. I have six songs, which are original songs that me and my friend John Allen wrote and Amber Benson. Oh, I have a little studio in my house. It's not like I live in a, I, I should mention this. I'm, I, it's not like I live in a dark little hole. I didn't mean to sound like I'm going out of my mind. Because <laughs> I have like resources in the house that I can do things that allow me to do it that I don't have to go to a studio or something. So I have a studio at the house. Mmm, your jelly beans are sticky. <laughs> They're so sticky, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have taken them. I mean, had them, taken them. <laughs> like they were Percocets or some pills. <laughs> now you're 16 jelly beans on stage. <laughs> <laughs> um, CD. CD. My friend Angela Perkins. Angela Perkins, who I used to like. Oh, that came out wrong. <laughs> she is a talented musician, but boy, she's just something else, isn't she? Yeah. And she, um, she just is, is too much. But uh, you can see I want to tell that one really bad. I want to tell that story really bad. I'll just tell you real quick. She left her car in my driveway for too long and I had it crushed. <laughs> I swear to God. I said, here's your car. 
I swear to God, and I had to have it crushed. The guy at the crush, <laughs> I shouldn't say this, but the guy at the crushing company, he was like, well, I can't get it that small. I said, no, I want it back the size of a, pan, a, a Pepsi, can of Pepsi. I want to put it on my mantle. I thought it was going to be hilarious. Was that the car? <laughs> That's the size of it. So it was a, uh, what kind of car was it? It was a Dodge, Dodge, uh, Dodge, uh, no, I don't remember. Dodge, Chrysler, Chrysler, uh, Plymouth. It was a Plymouth Horizon. That's what it was. And it, she left it there. And I told her a million times, get it out of my driveway. And she didn't take me seriously. Well, she up and left and hit it, the road and went back to, I'm telling way too many details, I know. But she went back to Maine and where she lived. And she had no intentions of coming back. And she was in my driveway blocking, you know, half the driveway. And I, and I oh, it, by the way, it was there for four months. So, you know. I suppose I could have just had it towed, but I thought cru <laughs> crushing it was way funnier. So, because so, I could just have it towed for free, but the guy was like, well, I, I don't just crush them for free. I was like, I don't care. I do not care, whatever it costs. And then he was like, all right. And I was like, I want it back the size of a can of Pepsi. He's like, I can't get it that small. I was like, crush it again and again and again and again. And so I think I actually have like half the car crushed like three times, but it is really small. <laughs> Oh. People are going to just start rushing out of the room, I just realized. Uh, <laughs> so after having her car crushed, I made a list of other cynical things I could do, and that's what I've been up to. <laughs> uh, no, but, but she's a songwriter, and, and, and so we did six songs, and she she's, plays piano like beautiful. She can really play piano. She really can. And... Uh, I have a piano at the house, but I don't know how to play it at all. It has a player on it. It plays by itself, so I always try to fool people with that. But it only, <laughs> the only disc I have in there is this old, old, old Christmas tape. <laughs> so it like plays just, if I play it, I have to pretend I'm playing either Jingle Bells or like some other Christmas song. But I always like will play it when people are walking in the house. And it sounds beautiful. You know, it's like a little baby grand piano, and I get the top up, making it look like I know how to play. And then I'll be doing that, and then I'll get up and be like, how about a drink? And it's still playing, you know? <laughs> I get a huge kick out of that, by the way. Um, so, but Angela could play that so nicely till I broke all her fingers. No, uh, <laughs> till I snapped them in the <laughs> in the cover, or whatever you call. It. That was very Paul Lindish. Paul Lind one night was at a cocktail party. I swear to God, he was in New York, and this lady said to him, "Oh, Paul, your acting is so limited. Really, it's just so limited." And he was like, he was smoking, and he goes. How's this for limited? And he put his cigarette out in her cheek. <laughs> Isn't that awful? That's, that's what I was talking about. I said earlier that he was wild off the screen, off the set, off of the show. He was a real wild man. Oh, he was. The, I have a terrible other story. I don't know if I can tell that one about the plane. No. No. <laughs> I love it. If I look for approval now, you're like... <laughs> uh, but... Uh, but um, uh, 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 so I have that with her, and then John Allen, my other friend, who's he's awesome. He's a wonderful songwriter. Again, has no social skills. Couldn't find his way out of a paper bag, and uh, but he can write and play beautifully. And so we, I worked with them, and so we have something. But now I'm just trying to figure out exactly the best way to 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 put it out. And I have a couple of I'm talking to Fox Music and Sean Harry and Associates and uh, some other places, but about putting it out. But I just. Fox will work with me to a certain extent, but it, I'd have to be green. I mean, I wouldn't have to be green now. I just mean I'd have to be green on the cover, and I just don't know. What, it, what do you guys think about that, by the way? If, if I were to do something, if you were me, would you do it, say, forget uh, Lauren and not put Lauren on the cover and have nothing to do with Fox, but Fox would have a much larger release, and it would be in a lot more stores and stuff. You know, it would have a... You know what I'm saying? Just you. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you want to, do you want it to be your career, to be a singer? Because if, if that's what you want, then you have to do it yourself. Oh, that was a serious question. <laughs> pass. <laughs> I sometimes forget that I can pass. I, like, sometimes I get really panicky and I don't know what to say sometimes, but I, I think I can, I, I can use pass cards. I, well, that's my newest thing. That's, I just came up with them. Oh, and my reset switch. You guys, you know, my reset button, which I... Apparently should have hit a long time ago. It's just if I hit the, my reset switch, and I say this like even with friends, if we're fighting or anything, I'll be like, all right, let's just hit the reset button and just start over. You know, like resetting the computer. 
right? So sometimes I get myself into such a mess, like at Sean's event, I had been talking for about like 62 minutes or something about nothing. <laughs> and, and somebody yelled out from the audience, they hit the reset switch, oh God, was I in Paris? But anyways, <laughs> so I don't know, but so you say, just do it with me. Okay, and if I wanted to just be a <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, um, Alana. How are you doing over there? Okay. Hi. Hold it like this. Hold it straight. Hold it straight out like this. Yeah. Season where you have to shoot. Hold it like <coughs> horizontally. But Hold it like totally straight. <laughs> like this. Like my arm. Put it like my arm. Alana, help. There you go. There you go. Is it on now? Is it on? Season, to shoot. Lindsay, how did you feel? I don't know, but is that little girl going to be in therapy for... <laughs> <laughs> I know. Now can I tell it? Are there any other youngsters? <laughs> it's still a little shady. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, could, I may be back in therapy if I tell it one more time. Okay, so sorry. Um, okay, uh, your question. Lindsay? Where you had to shoot him at the end? How did you feel? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was shocked that that's how, uh, that, that, but again, that, that's sort of a, a Joss Whedon uh, trademark is just to surprise the, the, the heck out of you um, with that. I don't think that people probably expected that to happen, I'm not sure. But I know I didn't, and I know Christian Kane didn't. I know that for a fact, because one, I, he's the one that actually told me, because it was top secret. It was the big secret news that nobody was supposed to know that storyline. And I was on set, and I was walking, um, I, don't, uh, I was walking back to my trailer one night, and, and, it, and I remember bumping into to Christian, and, um, <laughs> and he was all upset, because he had just found out about it. And he's like, I cannot believe that that's what's happening. And I was like, what? I, I really didn't know. And he's like, he told me, Alana is just either filled with good vibes or you've got to pee. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You're just feeling, feeling the vibes, right? Feeling good. I love, huh? I love it. She's like, I'm like you. You're like me. We're like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> now, I'm not, I, you know, I wasn't hitting on, I wasn't hitting on Alana. I didn't want you to think it's the whole Alana thing. I'm like looking over there thinking I'm seeing the old one. Uh, uh, nobody would have thought that, but anyways. <laughs> Christian Kane, bang, bang. Uh, so he was plucked that Lauren killed him. He was mad at him. Boy, did he draw out that death scene. <laughs> I wanted to bang, 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 bang. I wanted to keep, I kept telling him after. I was like, I'm going to keep shooting you until you fall quicker. Uh, <laughs> and then I, I had on this presentation for you, this is terrible, because uh, on the show, I think I shot him twice, and then he kind of, he stood there for a second, you know, then, then died. Uh, and then on the presentation I had made for you, I was just like, bang, and he hit the ground, like, like really fast, and I had, you know, me, you know, smoking guns. But, um, but I was really surprised, he was more surprised I loved it, I thought it was a really good twist, and, I, and that's, I like kind of, that was my last, that was, that was my last scene, I think. That was my last minute. But it wasn't, we didn't shoot it that way, because uh, Christian was supposed to do, a, or he was doing a movie in uh, somewhere far away. I don't, Thailand, I think. Thailand? Hong Kong. Hong, yeah, and, and so he was supposed to, he, I mean, he did go away and do the movie, so we had to shoot that early. And boy, like I said, was it a secret? Oh, my God. Everybody, not even... Uh, not even the script supervisor knew that that was the storyline. They didn't let anybody know. I'm, I've never seen them keep a secret like that, ever. Even when we re got to the set the day to do it, when I, got the when I got the script for that, well, they just had extra pages. When I got the pages, it came to my house by, you know, messenger who said in person, 
this is for nobody else to see. And I had to sign something. And it was uh, and wrapped up a million different times. And I couldn't imagine. I thought it was going to be a time bomb that blew up in my face or something. I didn't know what it could be that could be this this wrapped up, you know, in secretive. But sure enough, that was those pages. And uh, they just thought that, that was uh, top secret. But then when I went in to rehearse it, everybody left the set. They, the, the producers wouldn't even let the, the crew be on set, which I thought was interesting. It's like, well, they're going to come back in in five minutes, and we're going to do it then. Like, don't you want them to know what they're supposed to do? But anyway, I used to try to run the show all the time, and I got told that that wasn't my position. And I'm sorry I keep spitting. I hope that's not hitting anybody. God, sorry. <laughs> OK, so did that answer your question? You're just as confused as I am. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <laughs> Prick. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Did you have a question, my dear? You're just scratching. Just scratching, okay. I need another question. Okay. Now that you've seen the prostitution breakthrough, <laughs> How do they compare to prostitutes in LA? <laughs> do they all look like pretty women or not? Ask Sean Harry. <laughs> Why do you think he comes over the state so much? <laughs> Take it away, Sean. No, I'm kidding. I, 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 I would say that I, I think I have no idea. <laughs> you next? A pass! Yeah. Uh, yes, I always forget that I have them passed. <laughs> but half of my friends, my good drag queen friends, I mean, half of my friends in LA are my good drag queen friends. Oh no, we're losing them like flies. <laughs> um, did anybody have any other qu questions for me? Tell me about a PP demon. I refuse. <laughs> up, up in the back? Uh, no, not really. I, a lot of people used to ask me about it all the time. Uh oh, I just felt like John Wilkes Booth or whatever, right? <laughs> uh, is that, is that, yeah, God, I'm not turning this way. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye and I swear I almost. And then I saw these things and I was like, wait, this is way too I was like, I'm going to run for it. <laughs> um, um, what, what was, it? I'm sorry, that just really threw me further. And then I saw the camera too. I saw that like great friend. I was like, oh my God, I know that's a, revol a pistol. Uh, who asked something? I'm sorry. Love interest. Love interest, Lauren. No, I, I, a lot of people used to ask that. And Alexis came up with the whole storyline that was supposed to, he had it, you know, planned out for, he kept teasing me saying that if there was a season six, that there was going to be this character, which he, I mean, he told me about it and he was, he was kidding, but. For a moment, he actually had me because Alexis can be very, very convincing, and uh, and and he had me believing that there was going to be a little a, a character named Lil Boo. That <laughs> I know it sounds impossible to believe, but he he did have me believing it for a half a second. But it was supposed to be a character that was in well, there's red makeup like. Um, like just a bunch of red makeup, but they, they were gonna be <laughs> really. Uh, do you remember, Sean? It was like red makeup, and it, they were supposed to like. Did you say the name twice loudly. Me? Yeah. Say what name? Little boo. Little boo. Oh, 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 yes, but 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 can I tell them who it was supposed to look like? Who who Alexis tell me it was gonna look like? He told me it was gonna be Jackie Chan. Like. <laughs> And I said, what? And he said, well, not the Jackie. But he's dead serious. Keep this in mind. He's like, oh, no, yeah. He's like, well, it's not the Jackie Chan, of course. He's like, but he's a pretty close second. I mean, he's, he's a dead ringer for Jackie Chan. I'm not kidding. I saw him in the makeup trailer. And I was like, what do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? And it, it's getting more and more like that theater, right? <laughs> you saw that? Wasn't there a big cloud of dust? <laughs> uh, J uh, the Jackie Chan in red makeup, but like with a, I don't know if anybody saw this, but I came over here a couple of years ago and I did a thing on a BBC show where I, Mark Lutz and I wrestled with uh, sumo wrestling suits on. Well, it was going to be a red 
Jackie Chan lookalike with a sumo, a smaller sumo suit on. And I know this sounds hard to believe that I could actually fall for this, but I, I said at first I never believed him. But then he he came up with so many and had he told so many people that would were told to tell me. You can see that I was just the, I took the hit. On the, uh, what did he say? I was the brunt. Is that how he said it? I never, uh, for some reason I can't say it. Lately that sounds funny to me. I was the brunt of the joke. Is that how you say it? Huh? Yeah. What did you say? What did you just say? Huh? It's not was the brunt, that's alright. I was the brunt? No, you were the brunt. Talk into the mic, honey. Turned off. <laughs> uh, why do you like the butt of the joke then? The butt of the joke. Is that, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's like, probably what I was thinking. <laughs> but like, where does brunt? Yeah, the brunt is on the The brunt of the. Pardon me. Uh, <laughs> did you hear that? Did you hear that? You? Mr. Blue Shirt? No? No. Well, did you hear what I said? I'm using the microphone. I'll ask my question. Oh, yeah, you got the show. Tom's not here, which is a shame because it was his day. Um, well, I was supposed to be take your top off. What? Why? Well, I do what? There's a reason behind it. What did she say? Take your top off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a stripper, honey. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, um, my friend Lizzie texted me, and uh, she's watching Live Aid, and the lead singer raised one to top I just saw that, and no, I will not do it. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I don't either. Not, nor, get, turn her, cut the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you can. Oh, so could have the I other Alana. I was to take the top off first. <laughs> <laughs> Response, Alana? Nobody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> no contract. <laughs> oh, when did I lose control of this? <laughs> 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 Okay, yeah, right! <laughs> Hit that reset button fast. So, no, but thank you for asking. Yeah, I have to. Yeah, no, that, I, somebody I was just was, was doing that. It's gone, it was the short red one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Alexis warned me about. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, thank you for that. And then, so, did, uh, uh, hi. I have a question. How did you feel, how did you feel when you had to have your head <laughs> you're just you're just full of them today, aren't you? Uh, no, I got a kick out of that one too because that was also one of their little top secret storylines where my head got cut off because uh, they sent the script to my house again and they sent it. Uh, I don't know, maybe said it showed up at noon time or something, and they. I, I, I got it and I read it that afternoon, which was rare. <laughs> but um, I, I, I read it, f f you know, the whole thing, and I got to the last page and it said that they come in with Lauren's head on a platter. And I was like, oh, that was, that was real funny. I got a real kick out of that. And then I grabbed, you know, the classifieds next, <laughs> next to the script, assuming that my run on that show was done. I figured if my head was removed, and it was presented to Charisma Carpenter, I mean, Cordelia. That's it, right? Well, Joss Whedon just thought that that was the funniest thing since whatever. I can never think of a line for that. I always say, no, that's the best thing since sliced bread. But I always put in sliced bread, but I don't think you can do that, can you? You can put a head in sliced bread. <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? That's the funniest thing since? Sliced bread. Oh, you just said that. Huh? <laughs> no, it does not. It's the best that no, you say, this, these are the, you'd say, when do you say it? You'd be like, these are the best new bottles. Oh my God, you know, when they, these are the, these are the best things since sliced bread, right? When you say the best things. That, but you can't say the funniest things since sliced bread, because sliced, sliced bread, bread isn't funny. <laughs> right? Or maybe it was when they first did it, I don't know. That was, yes, that was the funniest thing since sliced bread. We can use whatever saying you want. I don't know who's, who said it over there, but I don't want, I won't get political. Uh, but, but I agree. <laughs> but, but wait, oh, the head thing. So, but I have that head at home. Isn't that funny? Does that sound weird? Does that come out like <laughs> 
<laughs> suddenly I just saw a bunch of looks that were kind of funny. Uh, but I, I, I have that. <laughs> that head is in a box at my house, and and uh, in a in a <laughs> in a display thing. Yeah, it's in a, in a display. What do you call it? A, yes, yeah. But it scares me to tears. It scares everybody. You should see the guy that. that if anybody delivers food to the house, that gets them. <laughs> that really gets them. Because the eyes are, you know, red, red, and uh, and it's a, the, it's animatronic. I don't have the controls for it. But I'm not supposed to have it, by the way. So don't tell anybody. Because <laughs> I swear it's supposed to be. And Fox takes all that stuff and. Um, they didn't. They, they didn't get that one. <laughs> but I know it was um, supposed to be supposed to be for them because it was thirty. I'm not supposed to say this, but it was like thirty thousand dollars for that head. So I swiped it and ran for the head. <laughs> I did. My dad wants me to eBay it. He keeps saying it all the time. He's like, "We're gonna eBay that, bub." My dad wants me to eBay everything. Oh, he's awful. He's awful. He's awful. My father is. He's a, a trip. I, and I, uh, the other thing that I had prepared too for you guys was the messages that my I I, re, I record he, he did he leave, did Sean leave? Yeah. 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 I have recorded like when people call my house and leave messages, including I always tape them like I put it on speakerphone and just <laughs> tape it onto this. I have a series of messages that would blow your minds. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding. They are so funny, so funny. But they're on my other computer, and I try to just now get them. And I still might get somebody at my house right now to, to put them onto my, to, on a site that I can download them on here or something. But they are so funny. And this one, out at the gate, hitting the button and being like, where are you? And me in the house going, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> he, ne he never knew, knew I was home. And, <laughs> but they got nasty, na Nasty, nasty, nasty messages. And, um, but then my dad leaves terrible ones. I mean, that you would not believe. The la wait till I, there's one about the cruise ship that you will not believe. And, uh, but so if I get them, and I don't know if I'll have a chance tonight, but I wanted to play them for you too. But that one I can play. Uh, you know, the, fo the fox doesn't have anything to do with that. I think I could maybe get in more trouble though playing my dad's messages from him. He could kill me in a second flat. He just retired. He was a prison guard for 30 years, and he could just pummel me in two seconds flat. Just beat me to a pulp. Last time we were home, I was home. It was like Christmas time or something. Was it Christmas time? Yeah. And I've just thought, because like I'm, I'm going to be 30. Thank you for reminding me. I'm going to be 30 in uh, a month, and. Uh, and so I think like now I'm 30. He's he's my dad's. He's still young. I mean he's 53, but he did that for a long time. And then he installed carpets for 20 years at the same time. So his knees are you know hurt him. So he doesn't move as well as he used to. So I kind of think um, you know I can take him now, right? <laughs> he's the same height as well. He's a little bit shorter than me, but he's 100 pounds heavier than me. And he was going into the kitchen, and he's just in his little tidy whities you know, in the kitchen, going into the ice box, then to the fridge. Ice box? How old am I? God. <laughs> Chiseling the ice out of there. He, so he went into the freezer and he was going in there. And I was just in this kind of playful mood and I was like, What are you doing? And he was like, I'm going into the fridge. Why? And he's not that playful. <laughs> and I was like, Well, what are you getting? And he was like, Ice cream. Why? And I said, Well, I think the last thing you need is ice cream. <laughs> and so he didn't even look back at me. He didn't glance at me. This is perfect. I have a prop. So that's me. I swear to God, I'm not exaggerating at all. He just opened this, and he had one hand on the container, and this hand just went. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. But I went, I went that way, over there where my mom was like, David! And I'm on the ground, like the asthma attack thing. I swear, I was gasping and moaning and running. And then he just you know, walked over to me, and just scooping it into his mouth. He's like, uh-huh, and just kicked me to the side. So. He is just, and everybody's scared of him too. Everybody in my town, like if my friends call my house, if he answers the phone, they'll just be like, <laughs> and they just hang up. Even every time I come home, I guarantee you, on Monday this will happen. When I go home, people will call the house, and he gets hang-ups. He hates hang-ups like you would not believe. <laughs> and he got caller ID because of it. And he said he's gonna hunt everybody down that, that calls the house. I swear, I swear, he is a madman. But I, I, I uh, I'll reserve some of the stories. Oh, I'm going to. Wrap it uh, <laughs> They just p closed the curtain on me. So thank you guys so, so, so. I hope, wait, I didn't even say one thing that made any sense probably for these people. Did I say, did, did anybody? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
closed on me. Oh, that, <laughs> that was great. Thank you. Man. Oh, God. I want a cop picture of that. Oh, that's, that is awesome. <laughs> Um, so thank you very, very, very much for coming. And sorry that I didn't make it last year. Like I said, I didn't have a choice in the matter. But uh, I appreciate you guys coming today so, so much. And if I can answer any other questions, I, like I said, that you, that you have that I didn't answer, um, just ask <laughs> tonight or here while we're around. But uh, thank you very much. Oh, we got to do something to make up for it. No. What? No. Is your dad still here? No, he's not here. Oh, how was he? Did he take the news well? <laughs> All I could think of was my dad when, when you said your dad. And I was like, oh, if I had to tell my dad that somebody bashed in the window of the truck, <laughs> I would call him from another state. <laughs> I swear to God, I wish... Some of you guys have met him, haven't you? You guys have? At the PBP? He was trashed. <laughs> and we, and some, some girl came up to him and said, Are you Andy House, Dad? <laughs> Wait. What, what, uh, what, what, uh, what did your dad say when you drove the school bus out of your yard? Well, Andy told me not to tell the plane story, so if I can't <laughs> tell that story, <laughs> that's mild. Yeah, I got arrested one time driving my school bus. I had a school bus. It's a long story. I'll keep you here all night long. But I had a full-size school bus, a 65-passenger school bus. And, uh, and um, I passenger school bus. Where was I? Uh, I drove it down the road one night and picked up all my friends and went on a little bus route and thought it was all funny. <laughs> and I swear I had the stoplight out. I mean, the, stop, the red lights on up above and the stop sign out. And I backed into my friend's yard. And, was, and I picked up about six or seven kids until somebody called the cops on me. <laughs> But we even did like an emergency evacuation on the way home. You know, I had like, I pulled over on the side of the curb and, you know, had my yellows on, not the reds, just the yellows. And then, well, maybe I should have had the reds on. I don't know. <laughs> but I was 13, by the way. <laughs> I forgot. I swear, honest. I bought it when I was 13. No, I got arrested in it when I was 14. How old are you? 13. Oh, my. Come here. I was, this, we were the same age. Picture her driving a school bus. <laughs> It amazes me now. At the time, I just thought, there's nothing wrong with this picture. <laughs> like, as a, you know, the wheel, like, you know how big the wheel is, right? Like, put your arm, like, I had to go, oh, yeah, there we go. It's a big, huge wheel like that. And, and then, and I was probably, well, I was probably, you're 13 now? You're, like, did you just turn 13? Are you, like, 13? A couple months ago. So I was, a, like, a year older than you, I guess. Yeah. That amazes me. Like I said, at the time, it was just as, like, Walking the, the dog. You have long blonde hair as well, Andy. I did have the long blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, honey, for your demonstration. I appreciate it. Yeah, big round of applause. Don't take out a bus. Don't. They locked me up for it, I swear. And then my dad came to get me. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, my God.